Hello everyone, what is super resolution and how to enable it in Windows 11? Let me tell you that super resolution is a feature that uses AI to increase the game resolution, visual quality, providing a smoother and more efficient experience that is scales across hardware, including the better frameworks. As part of this feature, Microsoft has also created the DirectSR API in partnership with the NVIDIA, AMD and Intel to integrate SR into the next generation of games. In other words, you can say that uh, the new API allows a single code part to activate a variety of resolutions including the NVIDIA's DLSS Super Resolution. AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution and Intel's XESS. Finally, it is still unknown that enabling this feature requires any special hardware such as the Neural Processing Unit to turn on or no. Let me give you a clear example about it. Uh, so for instance, NVIDIA, AMD and Intel require any uh, specific features within their modern graphics card to make the upscaling work. So my, for Microsoft, it is still unknown or they have not released any specific statement that enabling this feature requires any specific uh, requirements such as the neural processing unit. So that is still unknown. Now, the question is how to enable super resolution. Firstly, let me tell you that currently this feature is uh, only available into the beta and the canary channel. So you have to go ahead and install uh, any version of these Windows 11. Secondly, you have this feature is hidden. This feature is hidden and you must uh, enable it using the VV tool. So you have to uh, open this link in the GitHub and go ahead and download the latest version of this tool. So as you can see, it was released on March 23rd. Once it is downloaded, you have to go ahead, open that and extract that. I'm going to extract that inside the same directory. So as you can see, this is where I am. Now all you have to do is just simply hold the shift and right click. Uh, okay, I'm really sorry for that. Uh, right click on the folder and choose copy as a path. Now you have to simply copy that. Following that you need to open the CMD as administrator. And now you have to navigate to the same path where you have extracted the uh, VV tool. Now simply type CD and paste the path and enter. So currently we are inside that folder. Now you have to simply go ahead and type DIR to see all of the details uh, or all of the files inside that directory. Now for the next step you have to run this command. As you can see the command is vbtool enable with the ID of this one and then the variant is number 3. You have to simply copy that command. I'm really sorry for that. Control C copy and now paste that and go ahead enter. So as you can see, the configuration has been done successfully. However, so far, uh, if you go ahead into the uh, settings, you will not see the super resolution. So let's go ahead and check that. Go to the system and now go to the, uh, I think that was within the display and now go to the graphics. So we cannot see anything here. So all we have to do is we have to restart the computer to make the changes apply. Let me do that. Okay, the PC has now restarted. Let's go ahead and check that out. So press Windows I and now go to the system, go to the display and now go to the graphics. And now you can see automatic super resolution has now been enabled. So this is how you can enable the super resolution from the uh, settings in windows 11 also let me tell you that at the moment if even if you enable the automatic super resolution in windows 11 it is not going to show you any effect immediately because it is still in the beta and nothing is really clear the other thing that i want to tell you is that you can also enable the uh, super resolution from the registry editor so as you can see this is the part first you have to do is simply type rock edit And now you have to visit this path. So you have to simply copy that. So once you are here, you have to simply expand this part. So as you can see, now uh, all you have to do is open the direct user global settings 
and uh, at the beginning of the swap effects you have to simply go ahead and type this code so not the code uh, that's simply you have to type the uh, this thing dxig effects and now equal to 1028 that is a simple and followed by semicolon and click ok uh, restore the computer and the changes will be applied so as you can see now 11 form has done really amazing job so you can see that you can also enable the uh, super resolution uh, for the specific application if you want to so as you can see for now this is as simple so i hope this video should help you a lot and let me know your thoughts uh, in the comment section for now, have a nice day, goodbye and I'll meet you guys in the next video.